Understanding the Slide Master and how it works is an important component to really mastering PowerPoint. So we're going to take a minute to kind of look at what goes into the Slide Master and how to work with it. So I'm in this employee orientation file. We're going to first open up the Slide Master view. Now the Slide Master controls all of the def default formatting for your presentation, such as your fonts, your color scheme, items like that. So we're going to go up to the View tab on the ribbon, and we're going to go over to Master Views and select Slide Master. Now you notice now that the items in the slide pane and the slide area have changed. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top of the slide pane. We have uh, thumbnails of varying sizes, as well as if you look at the uh, details of it, it says things like click to edit the master title style. This is where you can make changes to your fonts or to your bullets and have them uh, displayed throughout your presentation instead of just making changes to individual slides. So let's take a step back and look at what is controlled on the different uh, thumbnails. So the Slide Master thumbnail is the one that you see at the top of the slide pane. It's generally, or not generally, it's going to be larger than the other thumbnails, which are layout thumbnails. Any changes you make to that master thumbnail are global throughout the presentation. And it's going to appear at the top of the hierarchy. So you're going to see it on top as well as it's going to be larger. Now if you have multiple themes, you might see more than one slide master thumbnail. Now below that larger thumbnail are smaller ones. And those are layout master thumbnails. So when you go and insert a new slide and you select a different layout like title and content or compare, each of those layouts also have a master, and those are going to be smaller and listed below that larger uh, slide master thumbnail. Any changes you make to those only are applied to that specific layout. And if you want to see that layout name, you can hover over it. So let's go back to our presentation and take a look. So here's that slide master that controls uh, the globally all the other slides that are uh, built on it. And here's the layout masters below it. So if I hover over any of these layout masters, you'll see that I get uh, kind of a pop-up. Whoops, kind of disappeared there. You'll see I get a pop-up of what that uh, layout is and what slides are currently being used by it. All right. And that directly correlates, I'm going to go ahead and close the Slide Master View by clicking Close Master View from the ribbon. That directly correlates, uh, if I go to the Home tab, Slides, and click Layout, it correlates to these layouts that are here. So any changes that you make will be uh, displayed in these layouts and to your presentation. All right, so I'm going to go back to View Slide Master. And point out that when you open that Slide Master, you get this Slide Master ribbon tab. And this is where you're going to go to make any changes in the Slide Master, such as inserting placeholders or uh, creating a new layout. Now you'll notice that there is no Design tab on the ribbon when you are in Slide Master view. So any changes that you need to make to uh, themes or colors or effects, uh, you can make also from the Slide Master tab. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close the Slide Master view by going to the Close group on the right-hand side of the ribbon and clicking that. Now you also have masters for your handouts and notes. So I'm going to go ahead and click that View tab on the ribbon again. And I'm going to go over to Master Views, and I'm going to click the Handout Master. This is, and we'll cover this in another video, this is where you can make changes to your handout master for uh, all of your handouts. So you can make kind of global changes. I'm going to go ahead and close that master view. I'm going to go back to view and select notes master. 
And again, here's a master for your notes uh, pages. You can make changes to this. You can put a logo on it or something of that nature that will be applied to all the notes pages in your presentation. All right, so I'm going to close the master view. All right, so that's a little bit of understanding the components of working with the slide master.